Hello my dudes and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 Horizon. So, I believe last session we were sorting out the, uh, the reactor situation for here when we have to plant the reactor. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep, yep. Here we're getting rid of the institute. Alright, well, we're going to be starting off strong in this area. I got everything. Sounds like it. Mm. Elder Maxon. Lancer Captain Kells has informed me that the Institute's on high alert. Are you still on about, about this? Explain yourself, Knight. I didn't realize it would make you so angry. Didn't realize. And let's just walk away. Because you're just stuck in a loop now, Maxon. That's the third time that you've gone off at me about uh, accidentally enabling the alarm. But that's fine. It can be pissy. So we're we just going to open this shit up. Good work, Paladin. I think it's time to leave this place to its fate. Proctor Ingram, do you copy? Our mission is complete. I need you to transport us out of here immediately. Um. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to forget about me. That would have been a prime time for Elder Maxon to just, uh, just stab me in the back, betray me. Like, yep, you did everything that I want, and yep, bye-bye. Our work here is done. Proctor Ingram, it's time to teleport us out. Sorry, Elder, I would, but... This child showed up. He claims to be the Paladin's son, sir. One, one, R, three, one. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Oh, hello, Sean. I want to go with you. Why did you call me dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Attention all personnel. Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. Hmm. Now we've got a dilemma, sir. He's a synth. But it's also a child synth. That's like, hmm. What a dilemma. Let's see. Well, this is just what I need right now. I'm not a baby, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. The only help I need is to get out of here. Now, can we please go? Yeah, fine. All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? <laughs> On second thought. Look, kid, I'm leaving. If you want to come along, then follow me. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go! Attention all, all right, Ingram. Fire it up. Everything looks green. Systems warmed up and ready to go if you are. Absolutely. Let's get out of here. You got it, Paladin. I'm going to send you and Elder Maxon directly to the detonation site. I'll make sure the kid gets some new clothes and reaches the airport safely. When that reactor goes up, this place will be nothing but a smoking crater full of rubble. Should be quite a sight. Looks like your work here is done, Paladin. Evacuation order issued. Authorization. JC. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Please proceed. It was a little bit of an ethical dilemma, because, like, pretty sure this version of Sean will have no idea that he's actually a synth. I wonder if he'll actually still, like, continue to grow. So I'm not too sure if, like, synths in this, uh, in Fallout 4 in this universe actually end up, uh, aging at all. But he does seem like he's 
full bio, he's not like freaking Valentine where it's like plastic over the top of metal. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Worst comes the worst, we got a new slave. Hey Maxon, can you get out of the way? Hello? I'm ready. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I just remembered that we um we spared Father and didn't kill him, but now he's just gonna go boom boom. You restore order and decency to the Commonwealth. It's time, Paladin. The Institute and their synth abominations must be eradicated. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go third person for this. Father's dead. I don't think he managed to get out of his bed. Hmm. We'll see. It'd be funny if it's just like Fallout 3 and you go down there and it's just a ghoul version of him. I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation. Fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This it wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed, but the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. You said it. Well, okay. Well, that's the brotherhood then. Is it the end end or just a cutscene end? Oh, well. I'd say it's just a crucial moment end. Hey, Aldo. Sir, you've done an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. Yeah, perfect time for a joke. What? No cash prize? Your reward rests in the hearts and the minds of the people you've saved. The Institute has been wiped clean from the face of our world. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth and begin one anew. Yeah, let's keep going. Sarcastic. We've done enough damage already. This victory was but the beginning. We still have a long road ahead if we're to ensure the safety of the Commonwealth and her people. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Return to the Pridwin, and we'll decide what needs to be done. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Now that was a good. A good idiot in Savant, but I was expecting a bit more. Oh, well, can't expect much from a dumbass. Like us. Like Bo. Oh, that's a good chunk. Okay. Well, the Commonwealth is ours. We've built up the Brotherhood. We haven't done anything about the Minutemen, though. Eh. We are a Brotherhood boy. Fuck the Minutemen. 
be good if I actually had some power armor right now, because it would be sick to actually jump off the side of this building. What do you think, Elder Maxon? Yeah. Let's make a quick save. Yeah, YOLO! Hello? <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I've got an horizon you don't actually ragdoll. I was waiting for the ragdoll and then just Someone revert to the something. load. Maybe it's going to cost me like 160 caps to uh, just f fast travel. It's a good neighbor. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Eight caravan supplies used. Oh well. It was worth it. Okay, so... Quest-wise, you can go to the Pridwin and go and have a look at uh, what's going on around there. Uh, let me sh set a marker for home plate. We've got plenty of ammo. Yeah, you guys have taken over over here, you're guarding it. Yeah, cool. For the Brotherhood? Some reason the game sounds a bit quiet to me. Oh well. We'll find out if the audio balance is actually uh actually good. Let me get into some combat. Why is my health not going up? Need to reapply first aid supplies. We took the 73 supplies, but my health is not going up. Go, JC. Get him. Why am I losing health? What the fuck is going on? You see that shit? See my health bar just disappear? That's yeah, bullshit. Oh, caps. Get some salvaging along the way. Very curious to find out uh, how the world has changed with the Brotherhood being in charge. We'll see if we can get to the stage where we can be in charge of the Brotherhood or some shit. Or just we're always going to have um, someone in charge of us. Salvage that one. Actually, whilst I'm here, we might as well have a look at Hangman and see if anybody has actually been recruited there. Salvage this along the way. Oh yeah, whilst we have some salvage time as well, I'd like to thank everybody that's uh, leaving likes and uh, commenting on the series so far. So, uh, yeah, keep it up, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've cleared here. Salvage that. And 
three meters away from Hangman. There's going to be some ghouls around here. Interesting. Okay, I'll we'll just not look at that wall. And our immersion won't be completely uh completely screwed. Very curious to find out why I'm not healing. Unless jumping off that building has caused some form of glitch of the horizon. Anybody being recruited here? There's still 48% chance, and it's. This is the most unlucky settlement that I have ever had. Hangman is just not getting populated at all. I wonder if that's a little bit of a glitch when it comes to the uh, recruitment beacons and uh, 1.9. Oh, there we go. Nope, okay, yep. We've got four settlers. Okay, so it's just taking a little bit to refresh. I've got some vendors lined up in here. I believe I just have beds and stuff as well. Okay, it's four of you guys. Alright, you guys going to work? Hoping you'll get auto assigned. swing by and let it refresh properly. So one thing to consider with Hangman is that it is sort of rendering and everything else around it at the same time, so the uh, the city is pretty dense. So it might just be uh, struggling with the old updates. Let's see if the... Whoa. Wound healing. Why have I got... It's not... What sort of wounds do I have? Caffeinated lethargy... I need to use like a doctor's bag or something. Limb supplies, not a doctor's bag. A doctor's bag is uh, like in Fallout New Vegas. I heal some limb trauma. Shit. Why do I have so many? Why is it costing so much? 
Injury, radiation, $2,000. Is it just because we have so much health now or some shit? Get rid of the addiction. Disease. And we should have some a decent supply of uh, adhesive. And let's get ourselves healed up. Hopefully, this time it'll actually uh, heal us. Medical skill is 164 now. them for the radiation removal. Yeah, we're not healing. What is happening? The fuck? Did I break the game? I think I broke the game jumping off the building. Adrenaline, rested, caffeinated, almond milk. Yeah, that's weird. Very, very weird. Restore station. Alright, get everything from out of here. And remember that we can go to the mission container here as well. It's been a while since we've actually cleared out the old inventory. It's the only uh, downside to having so much carry weight. You get complacent. No cell fusion, so we are around... Six missiles. So many main room suit. Radiation protection. This one has 500. That one has nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm very, very curious to find out why we aren't healing. I might need to actually reload the game. Yeah, let's see if a, um... A reload. We'll make it so that we can heal, and so that we don't just have like 2,000 caps of freaking damage apparently on us. Oh yeah, that's right, that's one thing that I should have a look at. Production management, we should have a look at... I'm trying to remember how you actually... ...produce the power cells. Mm, I'm gonna get well and truly distracted if I end up looking into this stuff, so we shall not. Okay. So for whatever reason we're not healing, but let's just go to the Bridwin. 
we'll continue on with what we were doing and stay focused instead of getting distracted like we always end up doing. I think pretty soon we have, what, level 25 probably in the next couple of quests. Means that we'll get a whole heap of perks from memory because I think it's every five levels. pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect, Elder Max has you already going? explained. I'm not finished The destruction yet. of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Captain. Knight, be aware that Dr. Lee is to be returned to us unharmed. Yep, yeah, okay. Sir. Paladin, I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and feral yeah, yeah, yeah. out there. Oh, shit. As well nope. as any remaining synths that escaped the gun the blast. Away. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Well, I'm not going to quit now. Indeed. I expected no less from you, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions, both past and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve. But we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. Oh. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, son. <sighs> it's an honor to be serving with you. I really don't know what to say. As you've no doubt heard before, words aren't necessary. Your actions will speak volumes. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. What? From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad victorium, Sentinel. Okay, let's go promoted. And then told to go and do some shit. Keep busy. And we got some T60 JC. We got a chat pack. Okay, well, we've finished off the Brotherhood. So, I'm just thinking if there's anything else that I actually need to do, or anything else that I wanted to do for this character. Suppose we could do the Miniman stuff, and there is always the option of doing some of the DLC as well. So we could do Nuka Cola. Small tech calling, Slugs the Green. The Nuka Cola stuff could be cool. We could get a few levels out of that. One of the things that we will do is that we are going to go to Home Plate. And I'm thinking whether or not we want to 
continue on our story. Or if we want to uh, potentially start anew and have a look at the Institute stuff. Oh no, wait. Next playthrough is... Yeah. So the Institute or Railroad, one or the other. Yeah, someone's in my chair. Alright. I will be back in a second. Oh, I can pause. Thank you. And we're back. Okay. So. Is it a mod? Like, was it a mod? Or was it a bit of armor that I got with a jetpack? T60 jetpack. Okay. We do have the metalworking capability of running this power armor. Jeez. Oh, can make power armor ridiculously strong. Hey. Energy weapons deal 5% more damage. Okay. That's a paladin plate. Sentinel paint. Okay. We can deck ourselves out with a sentinel. And we don't have another leg. Do we have the capability of repairing this shit yet? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, Universal Crafting Station. We want clothing and armor. We can only make radar. Middle working skill is now at fifty. Synth soldier to assist you. That's pretty cool. Micro jarring. Oh. Got some good shit. So I'm just thinking, hmm, we could make our next goal to be do Nuka Cola, work on our power armor, and then maybe do the other DLC after that. But I'm more inclined towards uh, potentially starting the next character and actually going for um, the Pro Institute or Pro Railroad character. So, one of the things that we can do just before... We don't have a quick way to actually get a little bit of EXP. Mm, yeah. I wasn't aware that the ending was so close. 
I was not prepared for this. I did not have a plan in mind. I think that it's, um, I think it's probably a bad time that we move on to the next one because we've done the large majority of what we can do with this character. Like our lucky idiot. We managed to get to level 24, level 25. We built up a uh, decent amount of home plate. We haven't really gone industrial or too crazy, but main focus of this character was to try and get the Brotherhood sorted as much as possible. It'd be all about the Brotherhood. Getting to the Brotherhood. So I could find my son. Though, um... I just realized because I jumped off the roof. Don't have Sean with me. Oh shit. They're gambling. I do not want to deal with a synth that's just hogging a uh, slot machine all the time. Hey, that's good. I'll give you skin one day, I swear. Not. It's fucking so dark in here. Okay. So I just got distracted for a second there. Fucking work, freaking messaging me. Okay, yep. Yeah. We're just going to make a decision. We're not going to be a part of indecision. We are going to say adios to Bo. Uh, can you... Yeah? Get, get out of my chair. You're gone from here. JC, get out of the way. You move to here. You're gone from this place. Let me sit down. Yeah, it's going to be a well and truly short one for uh, for this episode, because uh, yeah, I've made a live decision on the fly. We've done everything that we can for the Brotherhood. We could go and do some side quests and do Far Harbor. But we might save that for a little bit later if we come back to Bo. If we get the urge to run around with our uh, Magnum pistol again. But, uh, yeah. This has been uh, Horizon 1.9. The pro Brotherhood character. Mr. Bo. The lucky idiot. The idiot savant. And just ran around with a Magnum. So, uh, yeah. For, uh, for everybody who's here at the end and still watching. Um... I really, really appreciate you and your company. I especially appreciate your time. And, um, yeah. It's been great. And, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Alright. Bye, Bo. Bye, 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 bye.